Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. issue for some time now, but technology experts say a new target for thieves has been growing in recent years. Your driver's license. Action News investigative reporter Chad Padelli explains. Identity theft advocates say criminal networks are targeting organizations that have your driver's license number. Why? Because they can use it to get money, open bank accounts, and get government benefits in your name. And before you realize it, they're long gone. <laughs> My first thought was, this is a scam. Chris Riley got this in the mail. A 2022 1099 form saying he owed taxes on nearly $1,700 in income from Uber. Never drove, never had any employment with Uber. Uber eats nothing. He tried to get help from Uber, but had no luck. He couldn't get anyone on the phone since the app-based platform largely only deals in communication digitally. I'm asking for the fraud department. They don't have a fraud department. It turns out Riley was a victim of driver's license fraud. We're talking about in the, the tens of millions, maybe as many as 100 million at, at one time or another. James Lee is the chief operating officer of the Identity Theft Resource Center, which helps victims get their identity back. What's new is starting with the pandemic, we started to use driver's licenses as a way of proving we are who we say we are. Lee says thieves use the information to get real driver's licenses with stolen information or even make fake ones that can be difficult to spot depending on the state. Often the networks also steal licenses that are now mailed to drivers. You can go onto YouTube right now and you can search for stolen driver's license and you'll get video after video after video of people showing the driver's licenses they stole from the mail and what they're for sale and how much you, you would pay for them. What happened to Riley is unclear. Once the Action News investigative team reached out to Uber, the company corrected the fraudulent 1099 with the IRS. How about rider safety? There's someone driving under Uber under my identity, so they didn't pay us a background check. No one knows who that person is. The company released a statement that reads in part, social security numbers and valid driver's licenses have been and are required in order to use the Uber app to drive or deliver. The associated account referenced was flagged for fraud and banned from the platform in 2022. Riley filed a police report, but it went nowhere. They had heard of it before. Apparently they've had in the past of running with the same type of situation. The ID Theft Resource Center says states like Pennsylvania are doing a better job of making it difficult for thieves to get a valid license in other people's names, but more work needs to be done. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.